So in today's video, we're going to talk about how you can structure your local business website to target many different areas around your central location. Um, in most cases, if you're a service-based business that goes to people's homes, you're going to want to target people in areas that aren't necessarily within the confines of your uh, headquarters city, right? So in this example here, we're taking uh, plumbing companies in the Dallas, Texas area, right? And you can see here, Dallas has a lot of different suburbs, right? And this is barely scratching the surface here. If we go to the, yeah, if we, if we scroll out here on the map, we can see, I mean, really this entire Dallas Fort Worth area is, uh, there's millions of people that live there. And as a, a local company, you're probably going to want to service people in many of these different cities. So how do we do this for a website if we have just one location? Well, the best way to do it is, we're going to use an example here. This is actually the, the top ranking site for Dallas Plumbing. It has the exact match domain there, Dallas Plumbing, which helps. But it's also the way they structure their site, which I think is very effective. So if you go to their homepage and you go to About Us, you can see our service area. And also, this is kind of nice too, no travel charge. So you're basically telling customers that you're not, they're not going to have to pay a premium for you to come, you know, 50 miles away to go service them, which is, I think, a, a nice little sales pitch in itself. But you can see down here, they have all of their service areas listed, right? Now, these are all of the towns around Dallas. They're in alphabetical order. And the, the thing that's interesting about this is if you kind of scroll over each one, you'll see that they've built out pages for some of them, but not all of them. And I think the approach here was that they wanted to create pages for the highest traffic locations, if I had to take a guess. So like, for example, they have a page for Fort Worth, but they don't have a page for uh, Forney or for Addison. Um, and now, you know, I'm, I'm not affiliated with this website, but I would typically recommend building out pages for each of these locations, uh, because even if there's a little bit of search volume there, it's good to cover um, each of those areas because you just never know who's going to be searching. Um, even if a search indicates there's only 10 searches a month, chances are you'll probably get more searches than that on a monthly basis and you can you can drive traffic from those locations a lot better. Um, but when we click on one of these location pages here like Fort Worth, you can see this is optimized specifically for the city of Fort Worth, right? So we're talking about the comfort of your home in Fort Worth, Texas. Uh, years of experience, you know, there's, this page is obviously optimized for SEO purposes and it makes a lot of sense here. Um, and you can see down here, this is interesting too. It says our quality and efficient installation process will make your plumbing system as smooth as the tennis ball sailing in the air at the Southern Oaks Golf and Tennis Club. So they're getting really specific about mentioning local landmarks, right? Because this is another way that you can kind of boost your local relevance for these pages is when you mention local landmarks and uh, facilities in the area that people are familiar with, maybe other businesses if it makes sense to. Um, and you can also reach out to other businesses and try to get some sort of a link exchange going on saying, hey, we'll recommend your business for this if you'll recommend our plumbing company you know, for, for local plumbing services in your area. And that can be a good way to get links. But, um, but yeah, this is, this is really a good strategy for ranking in different local areas. So I would recommend any, any local services business, if you're thinking about targeting other locations in your area, which you really should, this is the approach to take. You want to have kind of a central, we'll call this a hub page, where you're listing out all of the different cities within your proximity that you want to target. Um, and then just, I would build out pages for each of these. And you can internally link uh, to relevant content that way. You can, for some of these locations that are more competitive, like Fort Worth, maybe you'd want to build out a content cluster specifically around Fort Worth, talking about uh, you know diff different factors about Fort Worth that, that seem to make sense. Um, the cost of plumbing in Fort Worth could be a page that you could internally link to, things like that. Um, but this is a very effective way. This works really in all geos, really around the world. So if you have a business in the UK, you have a business in Australia, um, you know, it doesn't really matter where it is. Um, if you target the different towns around you, it's going to boost your rankings um, in those areas and it can drive you traffic in those specific geos, which is really useful. Uh, so yeah, quick video, but I hope this made sense and feel free to like, subscribe and let us know if you have any questions.